The Seoul Metropolitan Office of Education has announced it will introduce a reservation system for parent-teacher conferences and run it on a trial basis from November. 서울시 교육청은 학부모 교사 간 면담 및 통화 시 예약제를 도입해 이를 11월부터 시범 운영한다고 발표했습니다. 자 먼저 이 면담이라는 표현을 좀 볼게요. 이거 가지고 사실 레이와 제가 여러 가지 의견도 주고받고 하다가 아, 일단은 이걸 소개를 한번 해보자 라고 결론을 지었는데요. Parent Teacher Conference라는 표현 좀 생소하실 것 같아요. What conference? Uh, 이럴 수 있는데. You can use conference this way as well. I think <웃음> most times we think of conference as a big meeting. A business with, conference. Right, you go there and there's hundreds of people and there's speeches. But a conference can also be used as just a meeting as well, okay. right? So, you know, you still, if you work in an office, you call it a conference room. Mm, 그러네요. 회의실, be, uh, right. conference room. 그래서, Some people will call it that. Ah, so conference라는 게 상황에 따라서는 좀 다르게 쓸 수도 있다. 정말 어떤 큰 우리가 보통 생각하는 회의, conference가 될 수도 있고 This could be academic or it could be anything really, right? Yeah. Conference. Yeah, yeah. 그런 의미도 있을 수 있지만 조금 더 작은 규모의 면담으로도 어, 해석할 여지가 있다라는 거죠. So how about you, Ray? When you were at school, did you hear the term parent-teacher conference? No, I think I heard parent-teacher meetings. Meetings. Because it's usually one-to-one -one or mm. maybe two parents come in. Normally, when it's smaller, people will just say meeting. Yeah. But, like, it's not wrong. And, right. and we'll see this in, in writing as well. Okay. Um, I remember when I, when I was a kid, there was parent-teacher night. Mm. And all the parents, well, at least most of the parents would come. Yep. Each teacher would be in their own classroom. Right. And then, you, like, and the kids would come. Like, I would mm -hmm. go with my parents. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you walk around your classroom. You show your parents your desk. Mm. Talk to the teacher for a little bit. 그렇죠. 어 그러니까 조금 더 일반적으로는 외국에서 parent teacher meeting이라는 표현을 많이 쓰긴 합니다만 어, 이 parent teacher conference도 존재하는 표현이니까 우리 같이 알아두면 좋을 것 같고요. 아까 parent teacher night 언급하셨어요. I remember that too. So a lot of schools in Western countries they will have one designated day, and the reason it's in the night time is because well, first of all, you go to school during right. the day, and then parents maybe are at work. So afterwards, they would come maybe at 6, 7 p.m. I think that's when it would start, Good right. Job. And it wasn't, like, contentious, right? There was It wasn't like no. the parents and teachers were arguing or no, anything no. like that. It so was more... a friendly chat. Yeah, it was more of a get-to-know-you and... Yeah, and yeah. You know, the kids were all there. People would mm. be we'd be playing outside or in the gym. So it was kind of a fun night. Whereas, like, if there was behavioral problems or some, some serious issues, then parents might call the school and say, you know, I need to sit down with the teacher. Mm. It wasn't as if they could just, you know, this I'm also talking about the 80s and 90s. Right. In my memory, you couldn't just text message the teacher directly. Mm. Parents didn't have access to, and I don't. I, do, I believe they still don't in Western countries, access to the teacher's no. personal you, phone. Yeah. You yeah. must call the school. Exactly. And if you want to have, if there's some issues, you're probably going to talk to the principal or the vice principal, get them involved. Mm. And then maybe, then you're going to have a conference with parent, right. teacher, and guidance counselor, mm -hmm. principals. Someone yeah. else as well. 네. School administrators. 네, 그래요. 뭐 여러 가지 그 어, 과정들이 있는데 보통은 외국에서 parent teacher night라고 해가지고 이제 부모들이 퇴근하고 나서 어, 뭐한 일곱 시나 뭐 이때쯤에 학교 가가지고 학부모 면담 일에 맞춰서 선생님과 이제 일대일로 면담하는 경우가 많이 있었습니다. 요즘도 그런지는 모르겠어요. 저희 예전에 예, 비슷한 경험이 있는데. Parent teacher conference, parent teacher meeting, parent teacher night. 뭐다 비슷한 느낌으로 보시면 되겠고요. In this case, though, we're talking about parents not on parent teacher night, but if they just have something to say, if they want to have a little talk with the teacher, mm. they will still have to make reservations, and then they can meet the teacher. Yeah, there's a lot more to what they're adding here, and I yeah. think it's. I think it's actually, it sounds like it's very necessary, yeah. to be honest with you. Well, let's do this other expression before we get into the details. Mm -hmm. 일단 이거 하나 더 볼게요. 시범적으로 운영한다. It's going to be run on a trial basis. 
So a trial basis, it's kind of an experiment. We're gonna they're gonna see if it works. Yeah, it's not gonna be everywhere. It'll be in some places, mm. and it's a way to test it. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, I think it was on Tuesday. Actually, might have been after after you had to go. We <laughs> talked about a um, pilot system or a oh, pilot program. Yes. I think that was bringing in housekeepers from from abroad to right. work in Seoul. So again, it's the same type of thing. It's sure. a pilot program. Mm. Good job. It's not expanded everywhere. It's a way to see if it works. Mm. 앱의 형태로 할 건데요. 일단은 어, 시범적으로 운영을 해보겠다. It will be run on a trial basis.